Recording in progress. That woman's on it again. <laughs> I'll tell you what, her accent's <laughs> shit. Nicole doing, doing voiceover. Her accent's shit. Live on Channel 4, do not swear. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, just over a minute and then we'll crack on. I'll try and get my timings right this week. <laughs> it's mainly the warm up. It's got a compressed warm up, this one. Last week as well, something new next week. Ooh. I'm thinking lactate shuttles because I know everybody hates it. <laughs> Is it zone two riding? <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just that, that's it. That, uh, there, there's a certain coach that would just give you 30 minutes of zone two riding. <laughs> We've all done that one, that session. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, no, it's about the opposite end of the scale of that. Yeah. If you've ever done the lactate shuttles before, you'll know. It's something I stole off a Zwift workout and then modified yeah. it. There's some good science behind it, though. It does work. Right, then. Are we ready? Die. Ready. Three, two, one, go. That's it. Nice and, nice and steady. First 30 seconds. That's it. Get that going. Nice low pace, just like tapping it out. Quick system check. Feet, ankles, knees, hips, back, shoulders. Give your head a wobble. Always good to give you that. Speak to Kyra uh, today. Yeah, pick your cadence up a bit now. Get it up to about 80 to 85. Just feel for anything that's not quite happy, over-exaggerate. So if your knees are a little bit stiff, ankles, just over-exaggerate that movement for a bit. Right, three seconds, we'll just stick a gear on. Start ramp up the pressure a little bit now. So stick a gear on. Just still be fairly light. About a two to three. Top end of zone one on your heart rate, maybe coming into zone two. I think I'm... Yeah, on top end of zone one. That's it. Just feel like you should just start to feel a bit of pressure on the pedals now, not much. Now stick another gear on. Try and get it on 85 now or higher. 85 to 90 would be nice. Let's see, I'm on 90 if you want to watch my knees. Heart rate should be creeping up now. Power, probably about 50% of your FTP, if you know what that is. Right, just pick your cadence up to 95. Nice and steady. It's just, just starting to get into moderate now. Right, stick your gear on. Last 30 seconds. Then we've got a set of three 30 second sprints. We're going to get all three in this time. So, 15 seconds. Your target RPM is 100 RPM. Stick one or two gears on. 30 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Stick your gears on. Pick your cadence up. Give it a good push. Try and get it up to 100. I'm on 100. Hold it there. 
So you keep it going. Try not to bounce. So your heart rate should be picking up quickly now. Three, two, one. Take the gears off. Let your cadence spin down. Back down to 80. Fifteen seconds and we go again. This time you're aiming for a hundred and five. Same gears. Three, two, one, off you go. Let's see, I'm one hundred and five. Start to bounce, try using your hamstrings, pull you back down onto the seat. Hold it nearly there. Three, two, one, and take it off. Remember, it's okay to drop your cadence before you knock the gear off so you don't suddenly overspin. Right, last one. 15 seconds, we're going 110 this time. This has been the first week I've managed to do it properly. Three, two, one, up we go. I see I'm 110. If you're over spinning, you can stick another gear on if you want, or just pull them hamstrings in. To pull you back down. Three, two, one, and back it off. Take the gears off, drop it to 80. Right, 20 seconds, we're going to get straight into the first set. So remember, we're three minutes. Use the gears you used last week. This week, we're going for 100 RPM for the first set. So it'll be three minutes at 100 RPM. Three, two, one, stick your gears on. And we're gonna hold this same gear all the way through. If at any point it feels too easy, feel free to stick another gear on. If you can't hold, 100 cadence, take a gear off. Well, you can't hold the cadence I'm giving you. This one's 100. So we're starting slightly higher this week. It's just for the first three. Then we're back on the normal ones. First three reps. So take your time with this. Just feel your way into it, get nicely settled down, look a bit faster than you used to. <sighs> That's it, first minute done. You will notice your heart rate jumps a little bit higher now, but not as high as it would have done the first week. Your body should be getting used to these higher cadences now. So we're halfway through. Do your body scans now. Make sure you're in a good position. Check your cadence, still on 100. Well done. Looking good, everything's nice and solid. Simon had a malfunction. One minute to go, and then we take it up to 105.
Sitting nice and relaxed. Everybody's looking solid. Well done. Nobody's wobbling. Nobody looks tense as well. Don't get being solid confused with being tense. Be relaxed, but don't move. Just check you're not gripping hold of the bars. Your shoulders don't come up around your ear holes. You've not developed a monobrow. 10 seconds, unless you've got one anyway. Three seconds to go. We're just going to bring it up to 105. Two, one, off we go. That's it, it should be on now. I've noticed your power's jumped up, your heart rate's going to jump up. Might actually feel a little bit easier. Because you haven't actually changed gear. Make sure you're nice and static, you're not bouncing around, you're not swaying your shoulders side to side. Two. Oh no. One minute through. I nearly sent you early then. One minute to go at this. Then we're into the short ones. The short ones go really quickly. Just check your cadence, you bank 105. Plus or minus one is okay. Right, 15 seconds, we're gonna go pick up the cadence to 115. Sorry, 110. 110. Three, two, one. One minute at 110. This is going to start to blow your heart rate. You've been at high cadence for a while now. Five minutes of high cadence. Does that feel a lot smoother than you did the first week? Your legs are getting used to turning over at this rate. Yes, coach. Yes, yes. Thank yes, you. Jeff. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one hundred and fifteen. For 30 seconds. Be careful you're not bouncing. This cadence is exactly the same as last week. You just had a tougher run into it. Three, two, one, 120. You might need to add another gear on now. Yeah. I'm about to add one on. Three, two, one. 15 seconds max. Everything you've got. Three, two, one, and off. Let your cadence drop and take the gears off. Bring it down to 80. You are here for two minutes recovery. That should be just enough. 
Get yourselves a breather, get a quick drink. Glasses on. Stop helping. Keep an eye on your heart rate. Just keep watching it go down. One more minute to go. Then we're back on it again, but this time in reverse. So we start off full tilt, all the gears that you need. And then we start knocking the cadence off. See what my heart rate's doing. Oops, no way. And then 38, I'm back in zone two, that's good. 30 seconds. Couple of deep breaths. Nice and controlled, remember don't pant. Control breath in, use your tummy. Control breath out. Always breathe with your tummy. Diaphragmatic breathing. Right, three, two, one. That's it, chuck everything at it. Spin that cadence up, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, bring it down to 120. Hold it there. That's it, well done. Three, two, one, bring it down to 115. Hold it there, 30 seconds. Well done. It's tough that. Keep an eye on your cadence to make sure you don't slope off. Gets easier in a minute. Well, three seconds. Two, one. And again, drop it down to 110. Keep it going. I know it's tough. 30 seconds to go. If you're struggling, need to, don't forget, take a gear off. Add one on. I need to stay on that cadence. Three, two, one. Got the cadence to 105. Two minutes. Twenty seconds to go. I think Simon's having issues. We'll catch us back up at cafe. Three, two, one. Got the cadence to a hundred and five for two minutes. One oh five. We're on 105, Simon. Thank you. Cadence, cadence 105.
Got about a minute and a half left at this. Quick system check again. It's really nice and solid. No swaying, bouncing. Nice and relaxed on your bars. Shoulders down. Try and keep your breathing controlled. No easier said than done. One minute to go. Just that extra five RPM for those first two makes a massive difference. Thirty seconds. Hold it together. Thirty seconds. Three. Two, one, got the cadence to a hundred. It's starting to feel a bit easier now. Heart rate might even start to come down. And be make sure you're not piston pedaling. You are using the full quadrant. So we're here for three minutes. Make sure you don't get sloppy. There we go. Looking good. Looking under control. One minute done, another two to go. Hang in there. Just check your cadence. Make sure you're not drifted up or down. Just keep watching that cadence figure. Ignore your legs. Burke, I'm sorry, I've got to leave. I can't manage. I've got flu. And I'm just not feeling it tonight. Just drop, just drop the gears down if you want, Tracy, and just yeah, tap it out. Yeah, sorry. Thought I'd be all right, but I'm not. All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah I'm going to leave. Thank you, though. See you later. I've still got a bottle of wine eat car for you when I do see you. <laughs> oh, just rub it in, why don't you? Yeah. <laughs> no, get come bloody bike. <laughs> Bye. One minute to go. Nearly there. Quick system check again. Last chance, get relaxed, 30 seconds. Fifteen, come on, keep it going all the way to the end. Three, two, one. And off. Well done. Take your gears off. Let your legs spin down to 80. Get yourself a breather. Well done. Part one done. I think that's the hardest part of the week four, that bit. That was brutal. Just that. 
you notice the other week there's a gap between the uh, the two minute and the one minute and jump up Just... 10 rpm that extra five rpm for those first two that three minutes and two minutes makes a massive difference so the, output, so really, the power output different yeah that's conditioning your body to get used to holding a cadence under pressure for a decent length of time because you're outside at 100 you're outside your normal sweet spot Right, one minute to go. Just make sure your cadence is down at 80. Mine's drifted up. Get on the screen. Win the rest of it. There we go. Last part. So your main drills. Same as last week. Add your one or two gears on. Everything's at 100 RPM this week, though. As soon as you can't hold 100, take a gear off. If it's too easy or you're bouncing, add a gear on. So it's two minutes, two minutes, then up, two minutes, then up, two minutes, then down, two minutes, then down. And then we're done four times. Going in ah. 10 seconds. Yes? Are you in your big cog or little cog at front on this? Um, it depends. I'm in between two, so I tend to put it on me. My little cog. I'm just in for I'm just in line for me in cog. Hold on, right. Three, two, one, go. I'm right on the edge of my big cog. And that's what's causing problems last week. The auto gear change kept wanting to change gear. So right, get it up to a hundred. You've got an extra five minutes rest there. She's as bad on here as she is at core on a Monday. <laughs> We're all they take it in turns to be. They take it in turns to distract me. Some of them distract me while we're actually doing the exercise, though. <laughs> right, three, two, one. Add a gear on. Get it back up to a hundred. Hold on. Nice and controlled. Remember, try and hit that 100 plus or minus one. You are outside your comfort zone now. Bye. 15 seconds. And we're going up to the top. Last bit before we start coming down. Three. Two, one, stick a gear on. Get it back up to a hundred. Hold it there. Don't be tempted to go faster. It won't work. <laughs> Think smooth pedaling now. Really bring that quadrant pedaling in. 30 seconds. Just think about one leg, <laughs> going through the quadrants, then the other leg, then bring them together. Well done, looking good. Three, two, one, take a gear off. Get it back on 100 quickly. <coughs> well, my heart rate's going through the roof.
Yeah, nice and controlled. One more rep after this one. It looking good. Ten seconds. That's nice and solid, Phil. Well done. Three, two, one, and we're off. Let's bring your cadence down to eighty. Two minutes rest. Get yourself a drink. Get your breathing on the control. A couple of controlled lung fillers. Really push that belly out. Breathe in. Pull that diaphragm in. And back to your, your two to what uh, you want to two breathing again. Make sure your cadence is down at 80 and it's jumped up again. About 45 seconds to go, we go again. Heart rate should have come down by now. Yeah. Ideally, you want to be in your zone two range by now. So for most of you on here, it's sub 140. Games might be a bit higher. And there's all these a bit lower. <laughs> right, 10 seconds and we're going again. Three, two, one, off we go. Spin it up, add the gears on, get it up to 100. Lock it out, get smooth quickly. As soon as you smooth it out, your cadence will jump, your perception will get easier. system check just check everything's loose just drum your fingers on your bars a bit loosen them off get your shoulders back down right going up in 10 three two one Stick another gear on, keep your cadence at 100, get it back on quickly. Remember, it is okay to give your cadence a little blip before you change gear. Just don't go too far. Especially if you're on a wheel off trainer with a big flywheel. Thirty seconds to go. Well done. It's looking good, Christine. Nice and relaxed. Well done. Ten seconds. We're on the last bit of the climb. Three, two, one. Stick another gear on, get it back up. That's it, well done. Well settled down, die, that was spot on that. Simon looks nice and relaxed, well done. <laughs> I'm 
to see Topper James's beanie hat bouncing up and down. <laughs> Not bouncing up and down that much, so that's good. <clears throat> 20 seconds to go. Start coming back down. Hold it, don't be tempted to go too fast. Three, two, one, take a gear off. That's it. Get into a nice rhythm. Going to blow, just try and control your breathing. Hold that cadence. You're going to find it harder to hold on to it. You'll start going too far high, too far low. Smooth out your pedaling, it'll help. 10 seconds. As soon as you get smooth, your cadence will stabilize. Two. One, take a gear off, well done. That's it, nice and relaxed. Easy peasy this last minute. The legs are gonna start to feel a bit more like jelly. It's a tough cadence to hold a hundred. seconds to go. Well done. Just keep yourselves nice and stable. Try not to sway around. You have a gentle little rhythm to your body movements if there is any. Two, one, last gear off. Bring it down to 80. Take a breather. Get it back under control again. Well done. Halfway through. How's everybody feeling? All good? Yeah, that's it, Phil. Don't forget to hydrate. Get a breather. Deb's all right. I keep forgetting Deb's isn't on. Deb's is on. Yeah, great, Mark. You're fantastic, mate. <laughs> Deb's is sat on the settee with a gin and tonic if she's got any sense. <laughs> yeah. I know it's a bad session when I've gone for a water bottle already. One minute that to go. First bit was really hard. I'm not surprised. Tracy got this, which is not well. You know, Mika just sat there watching us on telly. It's their evening's entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> big ball of gin and a big bucket of popcorn. <laughs> Look at them silly chuffs. <laughs> it's called sadism TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have this exercise then if you're watching it? <laughs> Right, we have got 20, 20, 20 seconds to go. Hey, up. Oh, Steve's fell off his bike. Um, Simon's fell off his bike. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> keep it, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Simon, keep it shiny side up. Right, 10 <laughs> seconds to go. We're off again. Get my watch ready. Three, two, one, up we go. Stick that gear on, get it up to 100. Don't care which order you do it in. Whatever works best for your turbo. Sit, lock it in. Start off relaxed. Keep your good habits at the beginning of the set. 
it's easier than trying to add them later. My cadence is all about using your hamstring anyway, because your quad's trying to push you out of the saddle. Your hamstring on the other leg is pulling you back into the saddle. So if you don't engage your hamstring, you start bouncing. It's not, it's not, it's not difficult, it's simple, simple mechanics. One's pushing up, one's pulling down. Right, two, one, stick a gear on. Nearly distracted myself then. Back on a hundred. On a serious note though, if you are starting to struggle and you really can't hold the cadence, just take a gear off. It's not supposed to be a brutal strength session. This is all about conditioning your muscles to quicker movement. It well done. Oh, fans just kicked up another level. Three, two, one. Stick another gear on. Sit nail it, get it on a hundred. Legs are going to start complaining on this one. Start feel a bit jelly. Fun to help. I've done seventeen thousand steps today. <laughs> you make the lactic acid build up in your legs. It's going to cause the problems now. You can't pump it out quick enough. We sweat changing the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Last 10 and then we're coming down. Three, two, one. Take your gear off. Let it roll down. Get it back on 100 quickly. The legs are going to thank you for that. Not. Another 15 seconds, I'll be moaning again. Thirty seconds to go. Well done, in solid. Well done, Steve. That's good. Even Dan's ponytail looks relaxed. <laughs> Ten seconds. It's only because he hasn't found a way of cheating using it, like he does with press ups. <laughs> Three, two. One, take your gear off. Last minute. You want to keep the sanity check? You probably should be about 75% of your FTP here. 75, 80. So somewhere after, just on the threshold. 15 seconds. 10. Two. One, take your gears off, spin it down, or spin it down, take your gears off. Well done. Everybody okay? Get a drink. Get your breathing under control. You might find out as these last two, we feel harder, 
but he's starting to recover quicker. See, so body's getting used to it. If not, don't worry, it will come. So it's good to chuck some high cadence work in at least once a week. Doesn't need to be a long session either. You could build it into part one of your other sessions. Even when you're out on a long ride, just play about with your cadences. One minute to go, last set. What's this session called? Cadence drill? Yeah, Cadence, uh, cadence Builder. It's one of my really, really old ones. There's one where I had to, I had to find a group of athletes, assess them, pick, pick a problem that they've got, and then write a session. Oh, Knuckles and Vane used to really struggle to get the cadence up. Right, three seconds and we're off. Three, two, one, go. Stick your gear on. That didn't sound good. I just dropped my stopwatch. It's just clattered straight into my carbon forks. Oh. Oops. That's it, get it up to 100. Hold it there. Sorry, somebody asked a question just as we were starting. <laughs> don't be, don't be distracting me. <laughs> Trouble what, bubble strikes again. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a serious question, though. <coughs> We've got 15 seconds before we go. Nice and controlled. But then look, see if I've knocked my paintwork off. Oh, no, it looks all right. Three, two, one, stick another gear on. Get it up to 100 quickly. That's it. Straight on. Well done. <coughs> I couldn't even tell any of you changed gear then. That's good. seconds. <laughs> Sorry, I keep coughing into it, Mike. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Stick another gear on. Thirty seconds and we start coming down. Hang in there. Last set, remember. It's nearly wine time. Or well, your choice of appropriate healthy energy drink. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Take your gear off. See, 
Keep the form. Quick systems check again. Make sure you're nice and smooth. Last chance to check everything's right before we start final approach. Seconds. Three, two, one. Take your gear off. <clears throat> so, have a quick glance down. Make sure your knees are in line with your ankles. You're not crunching your toes up. Shoulders relaxed. Legs tracking parallel to that top tube, maybe slightly tucked in. Thirty seconds to go. Well done. Awesome. Every looks like they've got a really nice relaxed rhythm going now. Debs is on her third gin. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Take your gears off. Just spin it down to eighty. Sit nice and relaxed. How was that, everybody? Oh, it was good. <laughs> Budget. So you should have found that first part of it a bit harder than last week. But this second set, actually, probably didn't feel that much worse, even though you're going slightly faster. <laughs> the first part, I had a massive <laughs> build up of lactic acid on my legs. Yeah. Well, that's what it is, you see. You, you, you're outside your comfort zone. The reason we go to 95 is because once you go above that, you're turning your legs over so fast that you can't <laughs> keep up with the blood supply feeding the, the food in and flushing the, the burnt food out, which is why we're going on to lactic shuttles for the next one. So I'll explain oh. about them next week. Magic, I think I might be ill. <laughs> yeah, you might be. <laughs> Oh, well, you'll, you'll love them. It's actually a really good thing to do. And if you can do it and get your body conditioned to do what we're going to do, it's actually particularly for short, really fast races. So what you'd say do on a sprint, triathlon, or the really, really long distances, it can actually work in your favour because it's a whole untapped fuel supply if you can condition your body to, to work with it. Oh. It's just very, very painful. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've heard it is. I know it is, I know. Right. Is it working at VO2 max? Um, it'll, help you VO2, it'll help you VO max as well because it's it's hit intervals, but um, I don't want to give too much away, but you don't recover in between. So you're doing right. high-intensity short bursts like you would do with a hit or a Tabata. Yeah. So it's like minute intervals, but in your recovery... You don't, you don't come all the way off. You don't fully, you don't fully recover. Yeah. Yeah. So you, uh, you're actually still above your FTP even in recovery. Yeah. So you're just getting lactic acid overload basically. That's exactly what happens. You're just literally bouncing off your lactic threshold. <laughs> Instead of over unders, it's over over. It, it's it's yeah, it's 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 ridiculous and hard. <laughs> Did we decide watching? While sitting on the sofa, <laughs> it, it is a good one to do, and it's not too bad because if you can't hold the recovery, you just you just recover more anyway. Um, because it still almost has the same effect anyway, because you're still pushing yourself as hard as you can go in recovery. So even if you can't hit the target you want to, you're still actually technically doing it because it's it's more than what we call an active recovery. 
Is it still in our session? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's two parts to it again. The first part's just brutal, because what I've got to do is get you up to the lactic threshold quickly. So it's a bit full on the first part. But then once you're on your lactic threshold, then we literally just keep bouncing off it to the end. You're really Great. selling this, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. You'll love it. Feedback every year is that's the one they enjoy the most for some strange, bizarre reason. I think it's got something to do with Stockholm Syndrome. Right, just start to wind it down now. We've had a nice steady cool down. <laughs> all the sadist watch, all the That's masochist it. do it. <laughs> it's called an S and M session. Yeah. <laughs> Great, that's gonna be all over my Facebook tonight. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring me I'll bring me special anyway. ball then. <laughs> It's like we we play this we play this game at work where you keep trying to set everybody else's home devices off, and the other one is you keep you keep saying random random strange things so that their Facebook then gets filled up with it. <laughs> A bit like we're doing to you. <laughs> They'd have to go fairly extreme to affect my Facebook feed. <laughs> Some of the stuff I have to Google. You know when you Google something in your head, it makes perfect sense. Like. Um, Hard rubber band exercises. <laughs> yes, Mark, I'm sure that's what you're looking for. You'd be amazed. What <laughs> I was trying to Google something for the Facebook image for the swimming or the it might have been the swimming or the lifeguards, and I I googled men in rubber. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, that doesn't bear thinking about. Well, the question is, did you follow up, the links? One of blokes, one of, one of blokes, he must have had really bad wind. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know which you come on about. <laughs> right, just bring your legs down to 70. Does my bum look big in this? No, fucking huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it, wind it all the way down. You can stop your things now. Right, just pedal back. See how smooth you can get it and how quickly you can get it so it's smooth. Save the ride. There we go. I nearly forgot to save it last week. Thirty-three hours recovery. We'll take that. Right, just bring it to a halt, just up on one leg again. Drop your heel down. Try and keep yourself nice and upright. Well, I can't have been trying hard enough. It says that we're unproductive. <laughs> <laughs> My God. I came in from a ride on Sunday and it said it said four days recovery. I don't think it's ever told me in days before. Yeah. <laughs> but it says that we're unproductive, but I still need 31 hours to recover from it. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Right, just drop your heel down again. Hey Mark, can I ask a question? Yeah. You know, the last last week we did a stretch, the very, very last stretch where you kind of interlock your fingers at your back and then yeah. brought them over the up. top. Yeah. I tried to do that and it nearly blew my shoulders to pieces. <laughs> I got my I got funny, funny shoulders. Um no, it, it is it is quite a difficult exercise. Some people can't get it all the way over. If you've got yeah. really tight shoulders. Just push it as far as you can. You'll 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 feel it. Some people can get their arms all the way over. It's like yeah, them well, weird people that. looking in. It's like them people looking interlace their fingers and hands behind the back. They're they're just There's weird. Wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that can't are generally good at butterfly. From what I remember when I was a swimmer. <laughs> So I say on your other leg now, just drop it. Feel 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 for that limit. Don't bounce it. Just feel how far you can go. Then just come out the stretch a little bit and then just gently lower yourself back in again. That's it. Off the bike. Kick your shoes off. Oh. 
Right, high cadence does tend to lock your your hips up a bit. I find when I've done high cadence sessions, my hips are always a bit of a nightmare. So we're just going to stretch them out. I'm not going to make you do pigeon, but right, normal one, stand foot up behind you. Let's stretch that quad out first. That's your main muscle you've used. So Nick, remember the drill. Knees together. Push your bum forwards. Feel that quad engaged once it's engaged. Get yourself nice and upright. Take your hand off if you want to. Let your proprioception kick in. So just feel all those nice tiny controls. If you want to put a finger on your nose, that sometimes helps. Or stare at a spot in the distance. That's what we well, I'm staring at Tom Boonen. And it says you don't need a plan. You just need big balls. <laughs> like Buster Gonad. <laughs> no, Tom <laughs> Boonen. <laughs> <laughs> right, just bring your knee up in front of you. Just squeeze that off now. Squeeze that hip flexor in. And again, breathe out, pull it in. Breathe in, release. Last time, breathe out, pull it in. Right, don't let your knee down. Keep hold of your foot. You might want to grab hold of your bike again. Just tuck your foot in in between. Hold on to your leg if you want. I'm not going to expect you to do a full tree. I tend to find I end up ripping all the skin on the inside of my thigh when I do it. If you're okay and you're comfortable, you can lift your arm up. Just really push that knee out just to open oh, up your all hips. The, all the time for it to freeze. <laughs> so nice, a nice, easy uh, stretch just to open up your, your hip a bit. If you want to do pigeon, pigeon pose is another good one. But I'm not going to crawl around on the floor. That's it, release, just change legs. Same again, bring it up. Together, hips facing forwards, drive your hip forwards, nice and upright. As Adrian says, head above the heart, heart above the hips. And this one says, I am the engine, said Fabian Cancellara. <laughs> Have you got any Bernardino quotes? No. Uh, nice to look. Uh, no. Nope. Or Greg Greg Lamond as well. Oh yeah, there's some good I used to have him on that one. It was it 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 don't get any easier, you just get faster. You just get better, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and what is it? Pain is transient, disappointment lasts forever. <laughs> yeah. Or Eddie Merckx, don't do drugs, kids, <laughs> which is rather <laughs> ironic. <laughs> I'll have all the blue smarties, please. <laughs> uh, it's right, a bad up in front. <laughs> and if you like the Matrix, there is no spoon. <laughs> Last time, pull in, breathe out, and stick your leg up. Yeah, out to the side. You can go full tree if you want. So if you can do it without ripping me, <laughs> ripping me skin off my leg. <laughs> just one last push with that hip, really drive it out, release, to shake your legs off. Right, we'll just free off that IT band now and just do your hamstrings. So cross your legs over, wipe the back leg, back leg straight. Just feel your way down. It's a great one for when you finish running this because you don't need to start rolling around on the floor to stretch your IT band. So it's another two for one. It does your hamstring and your IT band. It's not as good as pigeon, but. One last push, down you go, roll up, change legs. Whatever you do, don't close your eyes with this one because your legs are crossed, your proprioception doesn't work. So you'll just fall over. Well, feel free because the video is on. <laughs> if you want to try it. <laughs> I don't challenge them on a Monday night because it'll just set up a domino effect. <laughs> yes, it would. The same with all of these, just breathe in. You're under tension, breathe out, release the tension. You can just give your back a little wriggle if you want to try and release your lower back. It's really good for sciatica, this stretch. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.